Hey everyone, I'm Heather. Welcome to Heather's Creative Corner. And today we've got the Woobles Kit Review Part 2. All right, so we did Olivia the Barrel Cactus, or I did, I guess. And I will show you what I've got left. I think she's in here. Yeah, she's in here. Okay, so I'll show you the yarn. So I had green, orange, and brown left. This is how much stuffing I had left, but I do feel like this packet had a lot of stuffing in it. So I don't know, but I had this much stuffing left. This much yellow. And this much black because I didn't embroider the eyes. I only did the mouth with the black. And here is my finished Olivia. And she does come out of the pot. I think she's super cute. And then of course I have my directions and my crochet hook. Okay, so I did take some notes, so I will be referencing those, but here are my thoughts. So I'm gonna do, start with the pros. The Wobbles, did teach me how to crochet. They didn't teach me how to crochet in this one. Um, I learned with the, the chick was my very first one, the chick and the bunny. Um, so that was a positive. It did work for me. It did spark my love for crochet and they, it did teach me how to crochet and taught me most of what I know. And another positive is all supplies are included in the kit besides scissors, but you can get scissors. Uh, from them so you get everything so it's nice and convenient in a kit um it is travel friendly um i did take a couple kits with me when i went on my trip it was very easy for me to just stick them in my suitcase and know that i would have everything for a project besides my scissors and my hooks which i mean I, this one came with the hook but i use my clover hooks so i have my notions case that i have that has um hooks, stitch markers, scissors, things like that. And I just brought that with me as well. So I knew it had everything. Um, the kits do teach you new techniques. So this kit in particular did teach going in rows and working in the round. And then this, they had you do this and then this is one piece. So you closed it up and then they made you make stitches and then work in the round. So that was cool. And then you chained here to make these. So it taught you lots of different techniques and I really like that. This kit was labeled as beginner and I do feel like it was more of a beginner plus kit. Um, it wasn't hard for me or anything, but from learning how to crochet, I feel like this is definitely a harder one to pick up as your first kit. Um, but for me, I felt like it was worth the money of the kit more because it was different and not just the basic egg shape. Um, another pro would be the pre-started piece. I like that they do that. I don't need it personally. Um, I usually actually undo it because the tension is different than my own tension. But for a beginner, I feel like that's fantastic. And the yarn, it's not like a regular yarn where it can come into pieces. And I really do like that. And I know that when I was learning, it made a big difference. And I did a lot of boobles kits at the beginning because I tried other patterns and I could not do it without this yarn. I had a really hard time with the regular like Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, it did take practice because I do use it now, but at the time I just picked up more kits and was able to uh, do what I needed to do and it worked out. So I do really like the yarn. Um, now that I'm not a beginner, I do find this yarn a little bit harder to work with. I don't know what it's made out of. I think it's some sort of cotton because I do find that this yarn tires my hand more than a acrylic yarn. So that is a con, I guess, but it's still not bad and I don't mind working with it. It just tires my hand a little bit quicker. Um... The video tutorials are great and they're very helpful. And I did reference a few for, like I said, when you switched from going in the rows into working the rounds. Um, and I did reference most of the videos because I was trying to review this kit and I went through the videos more than reading the pattern and I did think they were helpful. Um, I do like that they have left-handed videos because if you're a beginner, 
a lot of people are right-handed, so that gives you that option. Um, I did not have any issues with the yarn snagging or anything. I do like this yarn. Um, and I had plenty of yarn left. And one of my kits when I was a beginner, the dinosaur, I had enough to make a make the baby dinosaur pattern. I had the pattern in the regular dinosaur color, but my big dinosaur, it was the rainbow one. So I thought it was really cool that I was able to make the rainbow baby using what was left over from the rainbow, the big one. Um, negatives would be, it's a kind of high price point if you know how to crochet for a pattern and some yarn. Uh, there are definitely similar patterns, like this one. Uh, this is from the book uh, Quiet Crochet Garden, and it's very similar. So definitely this book, I think, I don't remember how much the book cost, but you got more than just this pattern in the book. And I know it was under the cost of this kit, um, but it only came with the patterns, but it came with lots of patterns versus one pattern and your supplies. But for a beginner um, who may not be able to read a pattern or needs more of the video tutorials, this, might, this book and this project might not be the best option for them. But if you know how to crochet, then definitely the price point's kind of high. Um, the Wobbles does have a book though, and I have it right here. And I will go over that with you in a minute. Um, another negative would be the videos. I do like the videos, but the videos aren't specific to the kits. So they reuse videos a lot and they'll be switching colors and it won't be specific to the project you're doing. And I don't like that. I do find that a bit confusing, especially if you are a beginner and what you're paying for it. I feel like they should walk you through your specific pattern, but I understand for them from a financial standpoint, it's cheaper for them to reuse videos than trying to redo um, all the video tutorials for every kit that they come out with. Um, okay, so that is my thoughts for that. I am gonna go over the book now. One second. This is the book, it's hardback, and I think it's really great, and I hope that they come out with another one. Um, there are some patterns in here that are also kits. So I would look at that. If you're not a beginner and we're wanting to look at kits, I would get the book first. I'm gonna show you the patterns that are in the book. Okay, so this is the engagement section. So those are the patterns. None of these ones are kits, none of those ones. As the pears, the peas in a pod, the lovebirds, and the otters. And then this one's the baby shower section. This bee is a kit. Um, all the other ones are not. This is the housewarming section. This cactus is Clint and he is a kit, but all the rest are not kits. super cute. Look at that little, little mushroom house. I want to make this one. The next section is birthday. And there's a cake that's a kit. It's a little bit different. There's a party hat that's a kit. Uh, the bear, but without the cupcake. And the dinosaur is also a kid. So a lot of the birthday ones are kids. Um, the party hat and the cake are a little bit different, but you can still 
do. There still is a party hat and a cake pattern. Nice, all of them. And the bear is a kit, but it's without the cupcake in this part. It's just the bear. Okay, so my final thoughts are I do really love the Woobles. I do think they are a bit overpriced and I don't typically pick up kits from them as much anymore. I do pick up the um, the accessories kits because they're only $5 and they include the pattern and um, the supplies you need. And I do feel like $5 is worth it. I've paid $5 for a pattern before. So I do think that those are worth it 100%, the little accessories. And I do, I do think that the regular kits are overpriced. So not for a beginner. If you're a beginner and don't know how to crochet and need some help, I definitely think that the video tutorials and all that are worth it, worth the price, if you look at it as like a course versus trying to go and get somebody to teach you. I do think that that is worth it and I do think that they work because they did teach me what I know. And that is important to me. I know firsthand that it did help and definitely it does have me have a little bit of a bias towards liking them because they did teach me but I don't buy them as much anymore unless there is a specific kit that really speaks to me like I thought these were super cute and as soon as they popped up in my text messages that they they were uh, launched I had to get them and I did get them um and I do I do think they're really cute but there are a bunch that I don't have especially a lot of the basic shape ones I don't have them because I don't need them and they're very basic and that's fine for a beginner but I don't feel like I need that and need to pay $25 to $40 for a kit. Um, I did get the Harry Potter ones because I think those licensed ones are cool and that's more unique. You can't really get those anywhere else. Um, I did not get the houses but I did just get the um, like Harry Potter, Dobby, Voldemort and I don't remember what the other one was. Dumbledore I think maybe uh, but I haven't really gotten like I didn't get the Powerpuff Girls but I do feel like there's a market for that if you do like the Powerpuff Girls I haven't really seen I haven't looked really but I haven't really seen any other Powerpuff Girl crochet patterns or kits or anything so if you wanted to learn how to crochet and you're interested in the Powerpuff Girls I think that's a great way for them to market because they can market to people who are into that like if they were maybe wanting to learn how to crochet and then they saw something that they love like Harry Potter or Park of Curls or Minecraft or whatever then they can learn how to crochet doing something that they really love and there's something they're really into and they'll be especially proud of that but I do think those kids are harder so I do think they should start with the basic one first and then do that but I do think for the Woobles from a marketing standpoint I think that's really cool that they're able to get the licensing um, to appeal to more people like that um, and more like adults that way too um, I think there are other licenses when they had Minecraft. Um, I can't remember the other one, but they have so many kids to choose from. And I love that, especially for a beginner. Then they have so many choices. It's not just a basic kit. And I do think they are great. Let's see, the Woobles. Let me pull up their website. So here's an example of some of the ones that they that they offer. So there's the Minecraft, the Easy Penguin. If you know somebody that wants to learn how to crochet, I think the penguin is one of the easier ones. The penguin or the chick or the bunny. Um, let's see, there's Powerpuff Girls, the dinosaur, like farm animals, Minecraft, there's the cactus bundle. Uh, coffee mug but I wouldn't do the coffee mug because you can find that elsewhere I mean I guess if you really wanted to at your beginner and that's what you know you enter you are interested in and sparks your fancy when you learn how to crochet that then that's fine but there are a lot of these there are free patterns for um, actually I can link it below the Woobles has the penguin and the chick I believe for free on their website um, and there's no videos or anything with it, but once you do one of them, like if you did the bunny, then you could do maybe the chick or the penguin too. 
with your own supplies once you've learned some. And I do think that's really cool that they offer that. Um, my first one, oh, it was like this. It wasn't this kit because of the babies hadn't been released yet when I first started learning how to, but it was like the bunny, the bunny, the chick, and then the carrot basket, I believe is what it came with. And then I got, um, uh, the coffee mug because my husband likes coffee. So I thought he would think that was cute, but they have so many choices and I love that. I do feel like for beginner that they've got lots of choices and they can do something that they want to do. Um cannot remember what this is called. Oh, BT21, I think that's this collab. So I love that. So bottom line, I do recommend them 100% for beginners. If you're not a beginner, if you see a kit that you really, if you really love it and you want to grab it, that's great. That's what I do. If I really love a kit, I will grab it and I will probably grab their advent calendar again. I did like last year's and I'm hoping with the feedback from last year that they improve it for this year if they do one. So I'm hoping it's even better. So I do plan on getting that um, and reviewing that also. Um, I really did enjoy doing the projects every day. Um, I think I think that is everything. That's all my thoughts. If you're a beginner, yes, recommend if you want to learn how to crochet. I do think they can teach you and I love it. And you get a cute little project at the end. But if you're not a beginner, paying 30 bucks for a pattern and supplies may or may not be worth it for you. Just depends on the pattern if you really love it or not and i really love this one and i have no regrets uh, that is everything that i've got to say i hope you enjoyed my first official woobles kit review and i will link my other woobles videos below i uh, have a playlist and i will see you next time bye